In 1951, Louis Stein, a Kensington pharmacist and photographer, and Justice A.F. Bray of the Contra Costa County Superior Court established the Contra Costa County Historical Society. In 1979, the Contra Costa County Board of Supervisors recognized the society as the official historical society of Contra Costa County. Starting life in one room of a school in Pleasant Hill, Today, the Society's archives have grown to over 300,000 pieces housed in 5,000 square feet. The Society itself has more than 600 members, including 48 life members. The Contra Costa County Historical Society was established for the purpose of discovering, preserving, and sharing knowledge about the history of Contra Costa County. One of the original counties and one of the largest counties in population. There were over one million people in Contra Costa County in 2013. In 2000, the Historical Society moved its archives to Martinez, the county seat since 1851. Since 1980, the Society has maintained the Contra Costa County History Center for the benefit of the people of Contra Costa County. Many from around the USA and the world contact us by email and the web with historical records that go back to the 1830s the Contra Costa County Historical Society plays an important role in reminding citizens of the value of citizenship and civic leadership through its historical essays and publications the Contra Costa County Historical Society help citizens accurately understand their own time and place. The History Center archives contain a very large number of unique historical records and photographs that preserve and document Contra Costa's history. The Society maintains these documents with some support from the Contra Costa County Board of Supervisors. In addition, the Superior Court has made the Contra Costa County Historical Society its authorized archivist for its official historical court records. In particular, the History Center strives to serve county departments and other agencies responding to phone and email inquiries each day. For example, the county clerk refers persons seeking naturalization information to the History Center and Public Works relies on the center as one of its locations for archived maps and drawings. In addition, our Historical Society members are a major component of the County Historical Landmark Advisory Committee, which deliberates on issues of preservation in the county. Here is a short look into our past. Some of the questions that can be answered using the ever-increasing collections of the Contra Costa County Historical Society are, where is the first place I should start looking for information about my family? The first place to look is almost always the History Center's Public Access Computer Terminal, PAC. Funded by the Martinez Community Foundation, the PAC was installed and put into service in 2014. Two of the best sources of family information are the Society's collection of court cases 
dating from 1848. There are more than 9,300 index court cases with more than 61,000 named people. In addition, we have property documents dating from 1850. For each of these court cases, the name of the case, the function of the person in the case, the box and document numbers where they are filed are available on PAC using the Society's proprietary database, Look Back. I run a local business, and I want to see if there are any photographs of my building. Almost 17,000 original, unique photographs of places and people of all parts of Contra Costa County have been archived and preserved. Most are available to be looked at on the Society's website or on the public access terminal. What can I find out about a particular business, place, or person? In addition to the resources already noted, the History Center is in the process of scanning our many volumes of newspapers, dating back to 1864. Thanks to a grant from the Dean and Margaret Lesher Foundation, more than 25 years of early newspapers have been scanned using the Society's Book I-4 large format scanner. These newspapers are now available in searchable form on our public access computer terminal, PAC. Do you have a copy of my uncle's obituary? Almost 4,000 obituaries note the lives and contributions of individuals in Contra Costa County. I want to bring my fourth grade daughter to the History Center to find out about local history. Where should we start? The History Center maintains clipping files and photo files as well as a library of information covering every town in Contra Costa County, as well as more general topics. Photos relating to each particular town are available on the PAC. I am working for the superintendent's office, and we need to write a history of our school district. Do you have any information on schools? We have a particular archive of clippings about every district and school in the county, from the beginning of the district or school up to 1958. That would help in writing a school district history. Where was the line between Rancho del Hombre and Rancho Los Juntas? Nearly 900 maps of all sizes dating from land grants of 1775 are part of the archives. They include many of the county's roads and public works that tell a story of places, buildings, and landmarks. The history of the lines between the ranchos can also be found in an old map of the ranchos that we have dated 1894. I need to prove that my parents became citizens of the U.S. Do you have naturalization papers for my dad? The History Center holds a unique collection of 99 volumes of naturalization documents that cover more than 12,600 cases. They are available in no other place and are essential and relied upon by many prospective and naturalized citizens who must either prove their naturalization status or their family history. These documents are completely indexed. What special collections do you have? More than 15,000 items comprise the Veal Collection, donated by the family of Sheriff R. R. Veal, Sheriff for 40 years, 1895 to 1935. This collection contains a great deal of valuable information about a county that is a cross-section of California from a time when there was a change from horse and buggy and on through World War I and prohibition to the years leading up to World War II. Other special collections include records of the early Californios collected by Dorothy Mutnick, that of Nancy Fadden, the first woman county supervisor, and photographs by the photographer Les Snipes. What other services does the Society offer? In addition to answering such questions on a daily basis, the Society maintains a bookstore, is a partner with the Contra Costa County Libraries on their Remember and Go project, provides services to the county departments and other agencies, sponsors a regular calendar of events, and maintains a presence on the web at www.cocohistory.com. In order to continue its excellence, 
in serving Contra Costa County, the Society needs funding and volunteer support. More than 30 volunteers work weekly at the History Center, but even more volunteer help is needed. In addition to the annual county stipend that we receive, growth in funding from individuals and foundation grants is a key to preserving the Center's future. Learning from the past is a time-honored way of understanding our own lives as we learn to know more about the times, lives, contributions, and influences on us of previous generations. This is particularly true of our youngest citizens. The History Center is an interesting and friendly place to visit. We hope to see you soon, and we hope you will participate with us in preserving the county's history by making a donation today. Thank you.